Hi there everybody, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and today I'm going to show you how to make one of our uh, fantastic baubles. There's a couple here that I've already decorated and as you can see they just make amazing decorations for the tree or for actually any time of the year. I've got these hanging around the house all year round so uh, but you can fill them with whatever you like. You can attach whatever ribbon you want to. But I just wanted to show you today how quick and easy it is to make these fabulous things. Okay. So the acetates, um, which is what you're going to use to put in the bauble, these come on a sheet like this. And... All you're doing is cutting out, not forgetting the tag at the top. That's quite important. So just cut around the edge of the bauble. And then simply taking one of the empty baubles, just to let you know these come in uh, three different sizes now. They've proved so popular. Uh, we've got um, a medium size and an extra large, which looks amazing. Um, these already come uh, with the hanger, so it's up to you whether you want to keep that or whether you want to put your own ribbon on. So I'm just going to cut that off for now to show you. <clears throat> um, okay, so the lid here, bearing in mind you need to watch your fingers because the wire does come out and you have to be a little bit careful with that, like any bauble. Um, and then all we're doing is taking the insert, I'm going to grab a cup here now just to place that on top, makes it a little bit easier rather than it rolling around. And we're going to roll this up and pop it in. And because it's acetate it will just spring back open again as you can see. So what we're going to do now is just use, um, I've got some feathers here, it's just some white feathers, and we're going to pop those in the back of the bauble. Now you can use your fingers to put that in, or a, just a, a top of a pen or something like that, just to poke the feathers down or the decorations in. <clears throat> And as you can see, you actually don't need that much to go in the back. That's already looking quite full. And it just looks really pretty with the white feathers. Okay, so at this point now, uh, we can cut the tag. So just lifting it ever so slightly, trim that down pop it back in and then I'm going to go back to using the mug just to steady it and then again just be very careful as I said they can be a bit tricky to get back in and then that just clips on top just like that very easy okay so now you can use ribbon or anything you want to just tie this up or put around the top. Um, I've got some pink ribbon here so I'm just going to take probably about a meter is more than enough to do your bow and your hanger and I'm just going to cut that in half like so okay so now i am going to show you how to do a quick bow i'm not actually great at bows but this is quite an easy way of doing it she says okay Now 
and of course you can use any kind of ribbon, any kind of thickness, any kind of colour choice. So we're just going to tighten that now. There we go. Okay, so moving back to the bauble <clears throat> and taking the other part of the ribbon, I'm going to thread that through the loop here and then taking the bow, this is where you do need the mug or something just to hold the bauble steady and I hope you can see what I'm doing I'm just tying the bow onto the tag at the top I'm going to do a double knot Sorry, it's jumping a bit all over the place. Okay, I'm going to tie at the top here now. Okay, so we've got the bow and we can now just trim these down and there it is that's actually how quick and how easy it is to put your bauble together and as I say you know you can attach something to the top here if you wanted um, or you can use a bigger bow, um, you can decorate it however you want. I just think they look um, really effective and just something different, different to what anybody else has got. Now how to do a different bauble. Um, again, taking our empty bauble and one of our acetates. I've cut this one out, this is our stag, but they do come on a sheet, um, depending on the size, there could be four to a sheet or two to a sheet, as we now do the uh, very uh, large bubbles, which look absolutely amazing. Uh, so we do a, a small, medium and large. Um, just to show you the kind of thing uh, that you can do. Um, I've just put some uh, yellow feathers in here and tied a purple bow and then you can use anything you want to hang this. Um, as I said before, you know these are great for Christmas or in fact any time of the year. You know they just look fab hung around the house or in kids bedrooms or even in your own bedroom. Um, Okay, so taking our empty bauble, it is so easy. Okay, all you have to think about is watching your fingers with the prongs that go inside, but that goes with any bauble, not just these. So just carefully take that out. I'm going to take my cup just to pop that in to stop it rolling around. I'm going to roll the acetate, pop that in and as you can see I keep the tag on here because that, that just means I can move it to one side while I fill it. That will be cut off later. Okay, so pop that in there and this time we're just going to use um, some really nice iridescent, uh, it's like a cello tissue. And we're just going to pop that in there 
as I said you can use your finger or just use the top of a pen just to push that down I think I've got too much going on here but we'll give it a go to try and get it in once it's in okay that that slip forward slightly so this is where the tag comes in handy you're just going to grab that back says there we go that's why you need to keep your tag on okay just to stop that happening I'm just going to flatten that down a bit now and there we go isn't that pretty okay so cutting the top off that now now it's all in place and taking the top of the bauble and popping that in and there it is perfect okay so these already come with um, your hanger but if you want to uh, dress it up a bit just cut that off and then make yourself a bow. Um, I've got here some pink um, and <clears throat> I've got some silver here as well. I'm just going to cut a length. I think for this one I'm going to do two bows because it's very thin. So a good way to do this is just do two loops and tie it together. But of course, you, if you're good at making bows, then go for it. Okay. So there's one. And now I'm just going to do another... hope you can see me doing this if you can't see me clearly you can always YouTube on how to make bows anyway there's so much help out there okay I'm gonna cut those and then I'm going to tie those together just to give myself a, a slightly fuller bow. Okay, and now I shall cut myself another length <clears throat> just to tie around the top the tag here. So I'm going to pop that through, pop that on top, and here I'm just going to tie. Hopefully, this is where the mug does come in handy, it just keeps it really nice and steady. Okay, so I'm going to tie the top of the hanger.
like so. And there we have it. How quick and easy is that? And of course, as I've said, you can decorate it however you want with whatever colour you like. But take a look on the website because we've got lots of different acetates, not just fairies, as you can see. We've got the stag, we've got other things going on. So please do take a look and um, have a look at the gallery as well and just see what people have made. Thanks, guys.